The second episode of the Fate of Atlantis DLC immediately starts where the first one ended with a fight against Cerberus. Like this happens in the first 5 minutes and we could already see a trophy that you get after killing her as well. And of course that new main menu gives it away too. In this video I want to show you the fight that I will be doing here on the Nightmare difficulty on a Ubisoft build so that's how I can already play the DLC while it will of course be launching on June 4th and also why I'm a lower level and have pretty bad gear so it's going to be an interesting one. We'll have more videos up regarding the new abilities, gear and weapons that you can get in the second episode. But now let's first battle this new mythical creature. There will be no story spoilers in this video whatsoever. Again, this fight happens in the first 5 minutes. I thought I always show you these mythical creature fights that were added post launch. So that's why I wanted to yeah, show you this one as well and already share some tips on how to beat this creature too. So let's get into it, would be awesome if you could leave a like on the video as it shows your support and let's go. Before I let the cutscene play, a quick reminder that I'm doing a giveaway for the upcoming Sacred Oracle pack. Just follow the link in the pinned comment for a chance to win and be sure you are subscribed to the channel as well before you enter. Bad dog. Okay, let's start with the slow time because with multiple hats, you of course can have the headshots easily and have this continue. So that's the only thing I changed with this build are the uh, where my abilities are because of course I need to have my abilities for my second win, for example, on the right side of the ability wheel. Otherwise. I just don't know what I'm doing. And we will be using that ability a lot as you see right here because he immediately starts with some fireballs that will of course make you burn. So you want to dodge that. Let's do the overpower ability. Ah, damn it. Okay. Luckily that saved me some time so I got my second wind ability back and the burning effect did not really do a lot of damage. But of course we want to hit that overpower ability. I'm using a spear here. Um, because yeah, the overpower ability from the spear, of course, takes way more, does way more damage, as we will see. Oh, he's dodging like a madman. Okay, but yeah, burning does work, even though he's like shooting fire all the time. So that's a good thing to know, I guess. Let's just keep shooting, burning arrows. But maybe poison will be smarter. I haven't tried that because obviously I'm again playing this on a Ubisoft build, and I'm. Missing all my abilities. You can actually walk as well, you don't have to roll a lot. Okay, let's see if we can get some damage in with the Ares Madness. Of course, one of the abilities we got in the first episode. Really can't wait to see what other abilities we will be able to get. But by the time you uh, watch this, I already finished the DLC. Um, and. Uh, yeah, we'll be able to show you the abilities soon in a new video that will come up like a few hours after this one goes live. Keep an eye out for that. Okay, dodging, dodging. Let's see if I can finally hit that overpower ability. I will be doing it the moment uh, he goes down. So now we can hit it. Yes. So just wait till he jumps and then you can. Uh, yeah, do the overpower ability again from the spear because the overpower ability from the um, sword and the heavy weapons and the daggers of course doesn't really do a lot just like with the other mythical creatures so that's why I always think that a spear or a staff is the right way to go I don't, don't have a lot of adrenaline though so I need to get my adrenaline up start doing my overpower ability again but yeah when he's shooting the fireballs you can easily just hit some fire arrows 
do them his way or her way actually okay we got the Ares or crony Cronus ability again so we can get uh, okay we are in the second phase though while well, I did waste that ability again on nightmare so should be oh now he's shooting free oh my god oh my god they're burning on the ground as well okay let's see if we can poke him a little bit with my spear okay he's getting way more aggressive way more aggressive so oh what the heck oh whoa this is a completely different fight oh we really did not select oh yeah i wanna can i not go to the roll i wanna make sure that i have the auto crafting on totally forgot that they did not turn that on by default let's craft max and then toggle the auto crafting Okay, now we have to be careful because free fireballs and then you don't want to roll that way because yeah they actually stay on the ground for a while okay for that one you want to roll away because the reach is not that good now you want to keep rolling to the other side okay let's do the second wind okay nice crits Oh no, I'm burning. Be careful, maybe I can use my Ares Madness again. If I get close enough, I'm going to use my second wind ability. Playing pretty defensive, but that's really the way to go, I feel. Um, versus this hound. Okay, let's do it like this. Get some damage in. Nice crits here and there. Okay, and now you want to be careful again. Because, obviously die without the Ares Madness. So we're full health again, that's great. I got my overpower ability ready, might be nice to do that. Ooh, be careful for the arena. Those goddamn bones on the ground, okay, it's burning again, that's nice. Ooh, no, 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 that did a ton of damage. Really use the second wind as well to uh, rescue you, uh, yourself from the burning effect. Or, yeah. Make sure you don't get that okay let's do the overpower ability now he's dropping on the ground he's dropped on the ground tons of damage yeah 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 that's nice now we want to roll go away again because he will do his charge yeah, yeah or the bite actually okay moving away again we are close we are close come on Ooh, fireballs okay 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 Ooh. now it's time for some Oh, slow motion ability. Yeah, we hit the head, so it's going to continue. Okay, so that's weird. Ooh, not getting burned, so that's great. Let's see. I'm going to play passive again. Don't want to die in this final phase here. Okay, and now let's poke him a little bit. He's going to do the bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool rush. Did some nice damage. Let's see if we can get another overpower ability in to finish him off. So, trying to get some. I actually, when I dodge this, I immediately like hold the dodge button. So, if I get hit, I will, um, I will immediately, yeah, lose the burning effect. Oh my god! Ooh. Okay, rolling as well. Come on, he's so close, or she, or. I mean, Ubisoft told me that it's a she, so that's why I'm calling it a she. Although many people pointed out that in the Greek mythology, it's actually a... But yeah, they of course try to change things up. Ooh, the bite! And now let's finish her off. No, we're so close. Maybe we can finish her off with the bull rush. That would be a nice finish. No. Okay, poking. Yeah! Oh! Damn it. Don't want to get cocky. <gasps> Come on, can we? Yes! Oh wow, Staff of Death! Tamed Beast deal poison damage. Wait! That's actually... I will, I will talk about that in a second.
So again, we got this new staff. Fingers crossed, is it the warrior staff? <laughs> Come on. But yeah, the tamed animal uh, sort of perk already gives it away that it's likely a hunter staff, as you see right here. It looks awesome, though. Looks really cool. But yeah, I lost faith. I don't think we will get a warrior staff anymore. Maybe with a helix item. But then it will again be a helix store item. But yeah, it looks awesome. And it has the tamed animals get poison damage um, sort of ang uh, perk. That actually was already like kind of uh, bu buffed or something. Or fixed in a patch. And then we were like, okay, but that perk is not even in the game. And now we see that it's on this staff in the second episode of the Atlantis DLC. So I will continue playing and will of course share the new abilities and all that sort of stuff. And subscribe to stay up to date for everything Odyssey. A like on this video would be super appreciated. Again, I will have the awesome other videos that I normally do for these episodes up really, really soon. So keep checking the channel or subscribe and of course hit the notification bell so you know when the videos go live. For now, you can check out my previous video on an E3 update that we will get during E3 for Odyssey. I will tell you everything that I think will be happening in that video that you can watch by clicking on the screen. For now, I'll speak to you next time and goodbye.